Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Snack World. At the time of recording, it is Valentine's Day. So our plan is to do a little bit of Snack World and chill all day. Thanks so much. I'm glad to have you guys. Thanks for being my Valentine's uh, all day today and just for the rest of our lives together. No, I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, hopefully you guys have some cool plans for Valentine's Day. Me, I got a date, a hot date with Snack World and... Um, uh, honey bun, whatever her name was. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. Uh, we've been streaming this game non-stop since launch, and uh, now we're ready to finish off this game. So there's a lot of things that I did off screen, and I do want to inform you guys of what I've been doing, just so you guys get a better understanding of what's going on out there. All right, so I'm just gonna go from the top. Thanks for coming. If you guys didn't already enter a giveaway, make sure you guys do so by going to the previous episodes and this episode and commenting what your favorite part about the chapter was. But before we get started, I will absolutely uh, show you what I did differently. So ensembles, um, I went over here and you got many different slots that you can put um, certain things. So what I did was I went over here to, um, I went over here to a bunch of different uh, Jara, a bunch of different clothing that I had. And I made myself a set that focuses on giving me even more ear experience and more drops. So that if I'm going online, I could just easily wear this outfit and then I'll get even more experience and drops. That's kind of how, what I like doing with that. And you can tell, um, you can tell about that stuff simply by uh, taking a look at what your, uh, what the little passives are. It says over here experience boost and cash boost. Uh, this one is a moderate reduction in, oh, but this one says the passive power is rate drop rate. Um, boost large, so that's really good. So anyway, I learned a little bit about that. That was really fun. Um, other than that, oh yeah, I went over to the department store. Remember I kept on going back to the old town of Tutti Frutti to find those uh, crafting books? But there's actually crafting books within the department store. If you take a look at each one of those branded shops, I would say nine times out of ten they have a branded book that teaches you how to craft the items of their brand. So I did that. And then that opened up a whole bunch of uh, ensembles, uh, or sorry, a whole bunch of different fashion and gear that I can easily um, sort by and easily make. And there's actually some really good stuff out here. So remember earlier, um, I was talking about Hinozal in um, Yokai Watch Blasters, where in case you didn't play that game, you go into a dungeon and it automatically reveals the map and or the exit and or the treasures or the traps. So there's a lot of things that you can fabricate by uh, Pixie Electronics that give you that passive. And you guys can see over here the uh, the Pioneer's Jacket, which is really good, 90-90 defenses. A goal track down reveals the location of the door for the next floor. So in case you're not about dungeon crawling and you just want to get to the boss and grind it really quick, this is the outfit for you because that way you can kind of traverse the area. Um, there's some other ones called Drop Rate Boost, which is really cool. Uh, Pioneer Jacket reveals the location of traps. Uh, there's And then the Doctor's Gown. Um, which is really good, and I actually picked this thing up. It is a 10% rare drop rate boost, and it reveals the locations of items on the current floor. So I really like that. So that's kind of what I learned about. Um, other than that, I did some online play. Online play was actually really fun. I did some online play. I may or may not have stayed up until 2 a.m. playing online play. But you can go over here, and you can, you can go online, and then you can make a room based on whatever prerequisites. So of course I was getting matched up with people with low DC ranks, so I couldn't do all of the quests that I wanted to, so I was stuck doing like baby quests at the beginning. But yeah, you can see whoever is here, and you could join up with them, and you can see what their rank is, so that you can say, oh, this guy's a rank two? I don't mind doing some rank two quests, let's go. Or you can form, form your own group, um, and then you can do any rank, and you can do the same as me, in case you want to find people to do some really hard quests, and then knock them out. Now keep in mind that the story quests you cannot do online, but you can indeed do the grindy quests that you want to get the cool Jara and everything like that. Okay, last but not least, um, one of the other updates is that I did go out there um, and I went over to the store, you know where Pinocchio is? I went over to the store and I pretty much bought everything that was brand new because I was holding on to like almost a thousand bucks. So I'm like, you know what? It doesn't it doesn't make sense to hold on to this money. I'm just going to buy one of everything so that I have a little bit more type variety when it comes down to uh, using the auto selection for the whatever option I'm going in. So I bought some cool stuff. Uh, yeah, as you guys can see over here, we got the Q Loris, we've got this thing, we've got uh, the Crystal Sword, we got yeah, we got a whole bunch of interesting things. 
and it just allows you for even more power and super effective damage. So I would highly recommend doing that as well. Okay, so that is what we're doing. Thanks so much for watching. That's a little summary of what happened. Let's get started. Thanks for coming. All right, let's go. All right, whoo. Man, I'm so ready for this game. All right, what are we doing? Uh, so infiltrate the distillery and rescue Pigsy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do some quests that are available here. So let's go beat up this lion. Or let's see what he's here. Oh, um, hello, I got a bit of a problem. Can I uh, ask you for advice? Yeah, sure, dude. I live in the Black Forest, you see. But lately I've been hearing sounds, terrifying sounds. It goes something like this. Wapish, wapish, wapish. And then I hear a man screaming in pain. Something hideous is going on in the forest, something unspeakable. I was so scared I ran away here. Please, I'm not brave enough to find out what it is myself. Will you? Alright, so I'm going to accept the quest, Secrets uh -huh. in the Woods. And then if it's part of the level 8, then I'm just going to go do it. Because we need a little bit of a refresher and or uh, a wake up. So it is a it is a rank 7 quest. So I, unfortunately I did not get it on the previous one. But you know what? It, it's perfectly fine. We can still get it. Alright, anyway. So let's go do this one. Story quest. Uh, yeah, rank seven. It is. Where is this one? Oh, the tentacles, man. No, we can't do that. Uh, we can get this choker and masochistic alert. Oh, interesting. All right, so I think we're gonna be fine. It's going to be. I hate to think of the torture. Okay, dispel the worst fears. Let's just do it. It's fine. All right, so we're gonna go auto equip. Uh, auto equip Jaras. Good, good. And our gear is fine. Like I don't necessarily need to re-equip any any gear. So we're good. All right. Let's get this over with. We got the good genie this time around. Remember, two thirds chance of getting the good genies, whereas the other genies not so good. Anyway, thanks so much for enjoying. Uh, hands up in the comments if you guys are gonna be here all day until we finish this game. I don't think I remember blasting through a game so quickly, right? Dang, dude. Did I even sleep? Probably not. Okay, so this is going to be random dungeon. I'm not about that random dungeon life. I'm about finishing this quest and going. I don't need the experience. Wow, Croc Ness. All right. Some of you guys, okay, cool. Do everything, Jody's gonna be here. Tari, Brave Knight, Ferris, our, uh, Ferris, uh, Vicky, cool, cool. Glad to see you guys uh, excited as I am about this game. All right, out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. So we got the two blondies with us, which is actually the same person somehow, but we're here. All right, let's move. Tree Huggy. Nope, sorry, Croc Ness. I gotta find this dungeon. I like this passive because I, uh, I have this passive that allows me to see all the items on the floor, which is good. I mean, it's just free stuff that we're coming across, so. One of the things too that I'm really noticing is that I want to be able to craft certain things Oh, sweet. I want to be able to craft certain things, but since I don't do the off-screen side questing, I'm not able to get, like, the the top material in order to get it going. Okay, so we're gonna, um, hell of a wealth of experience. Oh, that's pretty great. Cool. Sometimes Gob actually fights you. So he just gave us 88 experience points, which is fine, but... Alright, anyway, moving on. Oh, look at that. Happy birthday to me, man. That's really good. All right, you guys ready? Get yourself healed up. Let's beat this. This is where I always hear it, the sound. And there it is now. Listen, wapish, wapish. Who? Peter Pancakes? Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I don't like this whip guy because he spins in a circle like that. Why are you- oh my god. Dude, I died! Okay, that's a new axe that I have. Shoot him! Oh, 
Lumberjack Jazz, wow. <laughs> okay, that was uh, a little hard. Why were there three Peter Pans? That was a little rough. The camera was just like all over the place. I didn't really like that that much, but hey, you know what? <laughs> all right, you guys know the drill, right? Right as soon as we go into the warp, I want you guys to start giving me some four leaf clover emojis. Let's get some luck, send some good vibes over here that maybe we can get that cool um, grand prize. You guys know the drill. It's the Chiropterin. Chiropterin. I don't know what the heck that is. All right, let's go. Give me that. Come on, the king. Okay, that, that's not too bad. I did have to heal once, but whatever. Didn't get it, but we got we got snacks. Mighty mushrooms? Aw, oh, lame. Okay, it's okay. Thank you for the four leaf clovers. Thanks for the luck. It's fine. Uh, what do you all get up to every night? All I hear is wapish, wapish. Yeah, oh my gosh. I don't want to know. I've been so scared I haven't been able to sleep a wink. Oh, uh, well, you see. All right. I'll handle this, Whipper. Let the Master of Wood eradicate any confusion here. Oh, it's the forest nerd. Hey. Hey. What? I'm not a nerd. Call me Ranger. I'm a super king nerd. You should know that by now and call me Ranger. Anyway, you want to know what's going on here, right? Remember, Whipper and these copy bats here are some of my greatest friends. And we, we got nothing to feel ashamed of. We've been having sessions to learn how to express our feelings for each other. What? To, to express your feelings? That's right, it's part of a whole performance about love and feelings. We practice night and day trying to achieve new heights in our emotional embodiment. Don't get the wrong idea, we're not hurting anyone with what we're doing. I hope you can see that at least, even if you find what we do difficult to understand. <laughs> um, okay, sure. Some people find it hard to accept our ways, but let me show you what it's all about. This is what it means to really unleash the feelings you have for your friends. Whipper! Here we go, Ranger. Oh my lord. Take that, you powerless Ranger. I'm green now, but keep going until I'm red. Can we go now? This is... This isn't what I thought it was. It's worse. What am I actually witnessing here? You're a nerd, take that. Don't hold back, Whipper. Really go to town on me. Leave a mark. Owie, that's it. Oh my gosh, stop. No more, no more. No more. No more, thank you. This is a weird game. The weird game, man. What in the world did I just witness there? What is my life right now? Anyway, speaking of my life, hello. Rocker fella. Hey, you there. You look like someone with style. I'm Rockerfellow, you probably heard of me, the world's top vocalist. I'm currently looking for new band members to make this star shine even brighter. I figured I need people who are famous or I'll just totally overshadow them. I'm too good for this. So I'm scouting for talent. I've been thinking about the Banshees. Those two were big what? back in the day. Oh gosh, not devil. the Banshees. So I'm seeing as you're clearly a man with pizzazz, I wanted to ask you. <laughs> Will you help me out as my manager if you'd like? Apparently the Banshees are currently sucking the life out of souls in Chicken Itza. So they're even stronger than they were, but once they hear my voice, they'll be putty. Oh, great. Uh -huh. Alright then, as my new manager, I expect your total support. Ha, you're about to witness the birth of a legend. Great. Oh, this one's another, another rank witness 7? What happened? Did I just miss all the 7s in the previous episode? Whatever. We'll do them. Okay, well, uh, let's actually do this. Where are we? Uh, oh, man. I gotta be elegantly dressed. Well, let me see if I can accept it. I don't know if I have elegant wares. It says no go. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't do it because I'm not part of um, I'm not part of that elite club. So it's it's super bosses too. So we're gonna get rid of that. Dang! I could have gone for some super bosses. That would have been real fun. All right, whatever. So let's kind of look around here. Let's see if we have any other quests that we have to get. I don't think I saw any quests in the department store. I don't know if there's anything in the hotel, but we'll go look inside the hotel if there's anything. Oh, look, what do you know? Abdallah, Abdallah, terrible, uh, terrible is happening. Honey Bun has been kidnapped. Oh no. She was taken by evil monster called Jokula. 
No joke, very strong boss. I think he fall in love with her at first sight. That's why he take her. What in the world? What did you say? My honey bun, kidnap unforgivable. Grab your coat, Abdallah. We've got a rescue mission to run. Don't worry, honey bun. Gobson won't let you down. Please, thank you. Okay, Gobson and you, good friends to honey bun. Yeah, let's go. Uh -huh. And maybe this is going to be an auto befriend of honey bun. And she better be a healer. Oh, man. Uh, just to think of all the things she'll do for her knight in shining armor. Hubba hubba. Ra, ra, ra. This guy. Okay, okay. Don't get carried away, old man. All right, cool. Honey hits back. I think this might be the quest. All right, I, I don't remember, but let's do it. Honey bun, I'm coming for you, my valentine. Cootie alert. Oh, and there is some sort of joker. You see that guy? What the heck is that? I don't want the vanilla earrings. Hold on. Vanilla earrings is trash. I have some really good ones. What was it? It was like... Oh, it was the cat thing. Where's the cat? Yeah, this one is drop rate boost large. Uh, item track down and boost the healing tonic. Yeah, that's actually good. Okay, yeah, we're ready. Although this isn't anything. This is pink. Why is this pink? I need something with two stars on it. I don't have anything with two stars, so we're just gonna go this one. Okay, looking good. Uh, this one is hot color. No. And this one is just making sure that I get my the best chances for getting drops. So we're good. Okay, so the outlook is fair. We're going to do a recolored boss. Let's we haven't done a recolored boss in a while, so hey. Let's let the dun oh, dungeon crawl begin. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So we got we got another genie. Genie's fine. I like this guy. He's he's the uh I think he's the strongest one. He's got the best run animation, so there's also that. Alright, here we go. Not about these things, but I'm about to collect these things. Oh, a little Reaper. You know what I was just thinking about the other day? Remember when we had that gigantic, um, that gigantic Reaper that came by and, like, scared us? They said, oh, you got 60 seconds to get out of here. Uh, remember that? I should have actually uh, fought it or attempt to fight it. Because that would be a really cool snack to have. If I'm strong enough to, like, grind those guys, you know? I will. By the end of this game, we're going to have that thing. I'm going to try to get all the snacks. I think that'd be really fun. I think it'd be really fun to get that. I kind of want that, like, exit. Oh, remember, look, look, look. Popsicle's his name. I was just talking about him. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Should we attempt to fight him? Or should we uh, just kind of find the spot and leave? We were just talking about him. How crazy is that? Yo, I think I have my microphone on on my Nintendo Switch. Because Snack World's got this new technology where they can listen in on your conversations. Well, I'm gonna continue looking for the door. And then maybe I can find him. Oh dear, your jars are looking really shabby. Those need tending too quickly. Here, let me... Okay. What's this red thing? I got a job to do here, he says. Okay. He's here. Oh my gosh, he's here. Is that him? The big guy coming in this corner room? Oh gosh, I'm stuck in this corner room, guys. Is this him? Oh, that's Popsicle. Yeah, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. Look at how much damage he deals in one hit. And I'm not doing any damage! Oh my gosh, I'm out of here, dude. I'm not doing any damage. See ya. 
Okay, I'm gone. I didn't do a, not even a single damage against that guy. So I really need some good, super effective uh, Jara to do work against that guy. Oh my gosh. But he's still- he's coming after. You see how fast his little icon's moving? It's like rubber banding in Mario Kart. Alright, one of my snacks died. Oh gosh. It's like rubber banding in Mario Kart. What a reference. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. Okay, Popsicle is going to be the, the snack that I really want. I'll be strong enough. I will. Just not now. I thought I could honestly take him. I mean, if I really had the patience, I could. Like, his moves really aren't that hard to dodge. It's just... No, I'm not ready yet. Oh, gosh. Better 360 out of here. Okay. Whoa, he's coming right for me. And I'm slippy slidey. Oh my gosh, 200. Wow. 200 damage just down. Knocked out my snack. Oh gosh, it's a key door. Did you guys see any keys? Oh my goodness. Did you guys see any keys? Snack's down. I didn't see any keys. I wasn't actually paying attention. There you go. Sweet. Come on, come on, come on. Pick up the key. Go, 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 go. Oh, you just took it? You punk. Oh my gosh. Help, help me. Oh my gosh, help me. Did I pick it up? I don't know if I picked it up or if he picked it up. I gotta go check. Okay, the door opened. Oh my gosh, I think the door opened. Imagine, imagine, look, 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 imagine this. Because usually when you knock out an enemy with a key, the nearest enemy will pick up the key. Imagine if Popsicle picked up the key and I'm just like dead. Hurry up! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, what in the world? Okay, so it's the Jokula. I get it. It's like Dracula, but he's a Joker. Jokula. Ah. Oh. How's it been going lately, Volute? Uh, hopefully it'll be useful sometime. Thank you. A gilt pomegranate. All right, let's go beat up Jokula and never think about Popsicle again. Until we're done with the game and we got like maxed out armor and really good damage against him. All right, cool, recolored bats. Jokula wasn't hard the last time I played him. Oh gosh, what the heck? Oh, that's right. This genie over here can do the grooving, uh, the groovy status effect. a simple three hit combo and that's all I can really afford. Cinderella just went to live on a farm. <laughs> The bats! Can we just destroy these bats, please? This is weak spot. We couldn't do it. We couldn't knock out those bats fast enough. Dang. 
Ow, oh, dude, chill. Teddy bears? Oh, interesting. So the, um... This little cat potion here is just boosting my experience gains. It's not giving me, um... Oh! <laughs> it's not giving me, like, an all stats boost because I, uh, changed it. Interesting. Whoa, hey now! Oh, dang, dude, chill! Try that again. Ouch, ouch. Okay, 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 fine. Dude, he's throwing cards. Joker's wild. Okay. I gotta hit him with this charge attack. <sighs> he would teleport as soon as I use it. It's fine. And KO! Got him! Yo, that's me right there. Look, that's me. Hi. <laughs> Hi, hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Alright. Hey, we got a soup waffle. Great. Come on, wake up! I know you went to live on a farm, but still. That was cool! So that was a, a recolored boss. Pretty interesting. Dun 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 What did you guys think of that boss? Rate him out of 10. Cool? Too early for recolors in the game? I would say so. You got a smacker shield. Yo, lips. Oh, BLW right over here. Alright, give me some luck, guys. I only get three. I didn't do so hot. Here we go. Luck, luck, luck. Womp womp. Rat's Wraith? Uh, that's fine. Uh, Cetacean Ring? Okay, cool. That's fine. I just beat the boss and that was cool. We got some stuff that maybe we can use. And we got a little bit more experience. I suppose I'll have to relinquish her, honey bun. Come out here. Yes. Can I go now? Okay, okay. Honey bun, welcome, welcome back. No injuries? Good, good, okay, okay. You. Don't forget who actually saved you, honey bun. How about a little kiss for the hero of the hour, huh? I can't believe I'm losing her. There's one last card to play. What do I have to lose? Honey bun, will you be my queen of hearts? Huh? If honey bun agrees, there can be no complaints from anyone. Of course I won't be your queen. No! Honey bun appreciates maturity in her man, you see. Something I have in spades. I'm an ace when it comes to the ladies, just watch. Honey bun, you'll be my queen, right? 
Mr. Sum, uh, about my shifts this week. You're not even going to answer me? Okay, Abdallah, you're up. See if you can get anywhere with her. <laughs> are you serious? What are you talking about? I'm fed up being the only one getting the brush off all the time. It's not fair. You need to take your share of the flack, Abdallah. Aha, uh -huh. yes, join the club. Oh, we'll get her. Do it. It's Valentine's Day. She has to join us. Lay your cards on the table. Okay. Want to go out with me, honey bun? Honey bun, I love you. You're way out of my league, but be my girl? <laughs> honey bun! Amazing. Let's just be friends to start with and see where it goes. <laughs> hey! She's so hilarious. You better be a support role. You've obtained honey bun as a snack. Okay. I don't believe it. How did you do that? Nothing is making sense. What's your secret? Please, thank you. This is getting out of hand. Let's go. Just ignore them, okay? Okay. Come on, my love. Let's leave these two losers behind. Alright, so that was pretty cool. We got an auto befriend of honey bun as a snack. And now we can set her as a snack. So I wanted to actually take a look at her. Let's see what she does. So your supporter role, your attacker role. Let me see. Honey bun, honey bun. Hey. Oh, she is supporter. Power strike, serious slug, and heal. I mean, serious slug, power strike. Green Bane, unleash a fury of uh, attacks. I mean, I can try her for a little bit. What do you guys think? Put her on the team, give her a shot. Maybe she'll be better than C Cider Fella, whatever that her name is. Um, so we got two supporters. Yeah, I, I mean, I really only need that. All right, so I like her, so we're gonna do that. And then here's the thing too that you guys may not know is as soon as you get, um, as soon as you get a snack and you have some of these bags of chips, it's this bag of chips. Yeah, it's called the Thai curry chips. So you give the Thai curry chips to the supporter that you guys want to be stronger. So take a look at her stats right now. 172, 126, 95, 73, 79. So take a look at that. And then once you give them um, all of these like little snacks that you have over here, these Thai curry chips, their stats are going to improve. So you can see that their stats just went way through the roof, which is awesome. So that's what uh, rapport is all about. Those little three hearts that you can get. You can get up to like five or seven hearts or something like that. There's some sort of item that allows you to do that to make your snacks even stronger. I don't know how to do it, but I was reading it in the tutorials. So that's cool. So now we got Honey Bun. She's not even maxed out at three hearts, but she's cool. I need more supporters to just focus on healing me because I'll just do the DPS. Like I'll just attack. I don't really care. All right. So we're giving her a shot. We'll see if she actually heals, but we'll see. I like having the two attackers and two supporters that can heal us, so we're good. All right, what do you guys say? Should we uh, look around a little bit more, or should we go find the the next quest? I don't see any other different colored characters on the overworld, so I think we're really all caught up. Let me kind of looking up and down this area. Really nothing's happening in Metropolis. So I think we're safe to say that we can indeed do this next one. Okay, so we got to sneak in. Here we go, Pigsy rescue mission. All right, so the quest giver is Chup. Uh, in case you guys missed it, Pigsy's in trouble. Uh, sent her into Vinegar's HQ, and I haven't seen her since. So we gotta sneak in, so here we go. Okay, auto equip these new Jara. All right, we should be all set, and let's hit it. So now that I have the experience plus uh, tonic, I should be using that before we end off the boss. Get ready for action. Are you ready for action, honey? You bet. But how are we gonna get inside? Oh, we know how to penetrate defenses, darling. All you have to do is this. Huh? Go deep. This game is something. All right, cool. We're in the distillery. I don't know if I've done this in the Japanese version. Right. 
But I honestly don't really want to. I'm not in the mood for dungeon crawling. I can get experience elsewise. Ugh! What the heck? Piggy banks? Oh, cool. With money in them? Hey, that's kind of cute. Okay, so this is the distillery. Interesting. Demon drummer? I kind of want to find the way out, though. Could that be it? I don't know. Piggy! Nope, nothing. Card houses? Interesting. Alright, moving on, moving on. Let's see what we got here. Demon drummer. Hey, here we go. Oh, look at that thing. I love beating up this thing. Caterpillar T-Rex. I love beating up this thing. That thing looked like a Beedrill, like a Mega Beedrill, what? There's so many different winding paths in these, uh, in this area. Can you imagine, like, who the architect was? <laughs> the architect who built the distillery was like, all right, here we go, floor one. I want you to put as many crazy, stupid, right angle rooms as possible. And then do the exact same thing on floor two. Are there three floors? Oh, that's interesting. Hey, Piggy. Piggy, you okay? Are you not hurt? Good. Okay, get out before you're spotted. Okay, who's this dragon? Wow, that, that fire breathing completely destroys us. Ow, dragon turned around and you turned me. What the heck? Oh man! Cool. So that was the boss? I, I hope that my... I use, I don't know if you saw this, but I used a little like press of the experience tonic. I hope that actually worked. I don't know how experience works in this game, if it's you get experience after you KO an enemy, or if it's like, for every like little hit you do, you get like a little bit of experience. I don't know how it works, but I maybe have to work on the timing of that a little bit better. All right, here we go, Detonic Brooch. Give me some luck, guys, we need it. Do we need it? One, two, three, four, no. I needed this though. Whatever that material is, I needed that. It's called Upper Class Cloth. And you can use that to make, uh, the doctor's outfit? I don't know. Ha huh? ha, we made it out. And Pigsy's fine. Huh. What's Pigsy got there? The key to the front door. Huh. What? Secretly holding something that looks kind of familiar. Huh? Hey, that, that lo looks what like that? the dragon heart. How did you get it? Whoa, Pigsy, you little hero. If we're in possession of the Dragon Heart now, we may be able to unlock the power of the Millennial Falgon. What? The Millennial Falgon. Are you kidding me right now? The Millennial Falgum? Th what? <laughs> Millennials. Um, exactly. If you're going to drink, you do it by the flagon. Don't 
Then again, too much cider can make me terribly gassy, so wait, no. Well, you're really easily led. I said the Millennial Felgen. With the Felgen's power on, on our side, we should be able to defeat Vinegar. Really? Uh, then what are we waiting for? Let's go meet this Felgoon. Then what are we waiting for? No, Chup doesn't talk like that. That's a typo. And I think the two ons were a typo in the previous text box. Hey. Mm. Felgen, and away! It's not that simple. Um, <laughs> first, you must attain enlightenment through rigorous training at Shaolin Temple. We'll take the Wonton Way through the mountains until we reach the Great Temple. Wow, Shaolin Temple, it sounds so authentic. Do they wear orange there? Oh, that rescue mission made me hungry. I got me a hankering for some steak. I must say, I'm a little, uh, Assyrian? I don't know what that means. I gotta look that up. Uh, why don't we get something to eat downtown before we set off then? Yo, Gob with the vocab today. As you wish. In that case, Abdal and I will go ahead to Shaolin Temple. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go to Shaolin Temple, man. Road to Shaolin. Wacky wand. Cool. Gob with the word of the day calendar, man. Assyrian means hungry or, or greedy? How do those mean the same thing? Hungry or greedy, those are two different things. <laughs> They're two different words. <laughs> Alright. I love the English language, man. English sucks. I got confused. Alright. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Stop! Hey, a new water bottle. Apple hoggler. Apple haggler? Oh, because it's an old lady. She's a hag. And she's like selling apples, so she's haggling apples. Interesting. Flying box. Why am I even fighting these guys? I don't need to. Get out of here. Okay. I just got poked to death. Twice. Get out of there! Died. We all died. Because I was on a stupid narrow pathway, and then I couldn't move because I was confused. Never again. Let's go. Give my $2.40 and get me out of here. That was ridiculous. <sighs> it was ridiculous. I was just on a stupid, like, little bridge, and then I couldn't move, and I just got sucked in by his attack. Alright, alright, it's not happening again. I got this. You snack weld. Snack weld. Pixie news flash. There's a chest over here. I'm gonna grab it really quick. Oh, the pirate! Get. Oh yeah, yeah. You can make him dance. This is also not a good idea because the stupid bats are here. Thanks. All of my teammates are dead. I'll 1v1 him. Come here. Who the heck are you? I don't need him. He 
You think I need them? This guy, I don't have anything super effective against him. Come on, V! You think I need my teammates? Let's go. He's got the advantage if he's on that one spot. Come on. Over here, into a bigger arena. Because his AoE attack will do the entire area. Fight me. Go ahead. I have this cap. Okay, that swashbuckling move is good. You just gotta bait him out. Go ahead. Oh, 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 ouch! Get him, V! Get feast your eyes on this swashbuckling move! Boom! And I got a fish. Feast your eyes on this swashbuckling move. That guy was actually tough. But, like, he was at home field advantage. He was at home field advantage if we stuck in that one top area because his spin attack would just destroy us. Had to move, man. Alright, not too bad. Complete! Give me 25 bucks. Thanks. Give me that gravy. Oh, walk, wacky wand. Hey, look, we got a gold one. Okay, so this means I need I need the help. List of achievements. Uh, inflicted the most damage. Okay, that's cool. Oh, here we go. We need that luck. Send it over. Here it comes. Luck time. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Nice. I don't know what it does, but we got it. Oh, it's a wacky wand. Oh, fantastic bane too. Uh -huh. And I got another, um, I got another little Starbucks cup. I'm never going to use it, but yeah, it's not worth it ever. Yes. You let the thieves, you let the thieves escape? Forgive me. Forgive me, Sultan. They're plucky little rats stealing the dragon heart from under my nose. We have good images of them from the security camera footage. Oh, yes, that's right. Then use them, catch those rats and turn them into dragon fodder. Actually, I think perhaps this calls for a friend of mine, the Master of Assassination. We appear to have a vermin problem, but you can take care of it for me, can't you? I Eradicate them. Understand each other. Hmm. Who's that? Shaolin Temple. Shaolin. That's hilarious, right? Chowing? It's kind of like Shaolin. Oh man, a whole bunch of people just chilling. Okay, Chup and the others should be showing up around now. Abdallah, Vel. Right on cue. I hope we haven't been holding anything up. So this is the Chowlin Temple, huh? Where is Lee? Where is Chan? On the movie sets where they belong, you idiot. This is real, yo. So let's go meet with Grandmaster Chowder Dragon. Chowder Dragon? Chowder Dragon. I was once a student of this temple. I left abruptly. It's strange to be back. Uh, why did you leave? Chowder Dragon. To defeat Vinegar. For that, I must become a Dragon Knight. The only Millennial Falcon. Only the Millennial Falcon can bestow that power. <laughs> but to earn an audience with him, you must train here at the Chowlin and master Kung Fu Young style. So, to become a Dragon Knight, you have to ask the flag... Sorry, what was it again? What? All these names are confusing. <laughs> Never mind, just go meet the Grandmaster. Alright, this is cool. The Chowlin Temple. Yo, check this out. What's up, kid? Greetings. It's Kung Pao. <laughs> Kung Pao Chicken. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love food. What's up, dude? Everyone here at Chowlin strives for superior self-discipline to achieve high and heightened levels of skill. No, over there. That was weak. Focus your mind. Channel your spirit. Sup? The cooking. The cleaning. Char Su. 
The laundry. All right, what's up, Chop? Wow, everyone here looks so tough. Do you think we're gonna have to cut our own hair like that too? Yeah, especially you, kid. Wow, cool, new area. You know, I think we did go up to this part in the Japanese version. Uh, I kind of remember, I kind of remember it. Okay, vast array of awesome arms. Let's look around here. A wacky wand, I just got one. That's lame. Arista cat sword. Whoa, pixie crystal knife, 100 bucks. Count me in, man. Critical hit rate boost? Yeah, let's go, I'll buy 100 bucks. And then I'll buy this Aristocat sword. Why the heck not? I'll buy it. 92 bucks. Dude, I got money. I got money for days. All right, what else we got? Uh, you got a shop over here? What do you What do you, What do do you? you purchase? Buy. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Modder boosts uh, in experience upon defeating an enemy. So that's it, how, how it works. Whenever you beat an enemy. This one's bullion bits. M monotone yin-yang piercings. Experience boost. Boost in resistance to cooties. I'm okay. I don't believe in cooties, anyway. <laughs> you can't train an empty stomach. What do you have? Uh, health food bar. Jalocus Pocus. Uh, so these are the temporary boosts before a battle. I guess we're fine. Uh, there's really nothing else. There's vending machines. There's people. Uh, let's see if there's any quests out here. Maybe quest givers. I see Mayone. Mayona. Mayona. That's her name. Was her name Mayone in uh, the Japanese version? Is that what I'm remembering? Okay, the Chowlin Temple Dojo. Oh, this guy! He's in the dance at the beginning! Right? Remember at like the opening cutscene, he's like dancing or something? I don't know. Grandmaster. Oh, Volute, it's been some time. It has Grandmaster. So what makes one who turned his back on his training return to his training ground? I've learned uh, a plot. I learned of a plot to resurrect the Dio Dragon, Smorgasborg. Time is of the essence. Please, Grandmaster, allow me to continue my training. We have acquired the Dragon Heart. Truly, the Dragon Heart. Yes, which means... We should be granted an audience with the Millennial. Please, permit us that chance. Uh, tell me for what purpose do you desire to train here? To get strong enough to take out Vinegar, sir. That is what your aim is, too. Interesting. Baluta here talks of taking revenge on Vinegar for destroying his hometown. What's your story? He torched my village, too. Really? I had no idea, Chup. Wow, so where are you from originally, Vel? I'm from a place called Stilton. No, me too. Don't tell me, you're from Stilton too, right, Abdallah? Wow, this is so cheesy. I'm a Stilton, alright. Stiltonite, alright. Stilton? The cheese? What? We're all from the same town, so so we're all from the same village? Seriously, how come none of you realize this before? It's a sign of the times, my dear. No one knows their neighbors' names anymore. It's true. Never mind. Actually, I know some of my neighbors' names. Seeing as you share a common purpose, you'll have a healthy rivalry. I will train all three of you in the art of Kung Fu Young together. Yes, awesome. Once we're Dragon Knights, we'll give Vinegar a taste of his own medicine, big time. Okay. Cool. So train in the art of Chao Lin Kung Fu, or whatever it is. I'm gonna go do that quest right now. Although, I do see a quest right here. Hello, you. It. Her name is Dump Ling. Oh no, who named you first name Dump? <laughs> oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Yo, your parents are cruel. Your parents are cruel. If they named their child Dump. Anyway, what's going on? I can't get over your name, Dump. Alright, hey, Miss Ling? Wait, I've got it. You can go defeat Uriley. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Remember we heard about uh, Uriley? I don't even know what she's saying, but let's go do the quest. From Dumpling herself. Thanks, you have no idea what this means for the temple. Gee, when's the Grandmaster going to learn? Alright, I don't know what we accepted, but it's a rank 8 quest, and let's go do it. And there's another quest, too. There's actually a lot of quests today. We're already at an hour, huh? Oh my gosh, dragons? I don't know if I can handle dragons. I'm going to go see if I can get that thing first. 
There's no fast travel to Tutti Frutti. So since that quest requires me to beat a lot of dragons... Oh, and here's another quest. Wow, you. Greetings. Hey there, I'm a warrior, Kung Pao. I'm training to be the best of the best, number one dragon warrior. As soon as I laid eyes on you, okay. I knew that one day we'd compete for this title of strongest warriors. We're arch rivals now. And that means I want to see what you can do. So what do you say to a special training program? Battles against tough monsters, are you up to it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. In Wonton Way, sure. All right, I'll, I'll take your quest in a little bit, but I want to go get a dragon sword, and I think the dragon sword still may be in stock. So let me go warp to Tutti Frutti, and go say hi to the, um... Let me go say hi to Robo Man, and I might be able to purchase this thing. If I have enough of these, uh, like, little points or whatever. Welcome to the store! Yeah, dude, check this out. Oh, dang, we got a rare one. Look at that one. It's like a hollow foil. That's cool. That's a hollow foil. Check that out. Uh, Galoyalty. He had something in here that was a sword. Didn't he? Yeah, this one. 4,400. Oh, come on. I need it. That's the one I want. It's like super effective against dragons. You see that? Two times. I need more loyalty points. Dang it, dude. What is your problem? I need like 500 more. I have every single one. Oh, I don't have this. Tectonic shield. That's the only thing I don't have, but I'm not about to buy it. I don't need another shield. All right, so that was a waste of time. Sorry. I thought I have enough. I remember saw, saw, seeing it in the shop, but like, it's just... I need to either keep on buying or I need to do more dungeon crawls um, so that I can absolutely get the... Um, yeah, so I can absolutely get that item. But anyway, since we're here with this kid, we might as well just do his quest. Not online. Uh, yes, here we go. So we got two little quests we're going to do. This one's called... Um, which one are we doing? DC rank 8. Back to basics. Grandmother's gold. Oh, a super boss? Gosh. Oh! Exodus blade? Is that the one we're trying to get? No. But we could. Let's go. What do I have to lose? All right, you guys ready for this? Wait, I can't. Hold on, why? Because I haven't. I need a requisite. I can't even go because I don't have the style. Stupid. Fine. Fine. I want that thing, dude. Like, I need to go buy some clothing. Look, you need. I need sporty clothes. I need to go make some sporty clothes, man. That's so bad. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever. I'll make some clothes later. All right, let's go beat up Super... What's her name? Let's get this over with. Yeah. Oh, we got Big Boy with us. Uh-oh. Big Boy's here. Kind of want to abandon the quest, but we'll be all right. All right, come on, Big Boy. We're just going to run through this. I'm not going to really focus on getting anything. Just, Just go through. He's got a pretty cool run animation, too. So we just gotta go beat up Super Medusa. I think I could handle her. I, 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 haven't I beaten a Super Medusa before? I don't know. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to go. Good job. There's a chest over there. I'll take it. Super Medusa. Any of you guys remember which super boss I actually battled? Nice. Very nice. Was it like super crappin'? Honestly. Oh, it's buttons. Oh, we're pressing buttons. Great. Come 
Come on, Gob. Oh my gosh, I gotta fight Gob. I'm not in the mood, Gobby. It's one more button. All right, one more button. Yeah, Snack World cart. Oh, you remember that? <laughs> when we're gonna be grinding, we are, of course. See, when you play online multiplayer, there's really two ways of of playing these random dungeons. The first way is get through it, find the find the ending as fast as possible, so we get to the boss as quick as possible. Or it's let's just beat up everything in sight, so that we get more uh, familiarity with each of these enemies and maybe possible drops. So yeah, there's two ways of playing. And so like differentiating what your goal is to the other people you're playing with is really, t it's really key. Because I think I was playing online yesterday and I was playing with some guy and I'm just like breezing through the dungeon, not really caring about anything. And then dude disconnected he's like, okay. So I don't think I fought green super, super Uriley. What, what is that? What is the name? What does that name mean? You're you're Riley. Wow. You want some of this? Okay. Oh, that's sleep. That's not. Oh, uh, little snakies, wake up. Genie E. Wait, Genie E? Excuse me. Oh, right as I try to get you up, I fall asleep and eat all those hits. Hurry! Huh, huh. Oh! I. Dude, that's so insane! Wake me up! I need, like, sleep immunity or something. You can't win. You can't win, dude. You get put to sleep and it's over. No flipping way, man. Yo, you cannot wake up. You are just stuck there. I cannot believe my life right now. I thought petrification was bad, but no, that's even worse. Are you kidding me? Do I just not have any... Um, Sleep reduction or something. I need like some anti-sleep resistance to boogieing. No, forget that. Blindness, gassiness, boogieing, uh, befuddling. Wind resistance, blindness. No way, man. Hammering, lightning, grogginess. I don't know what it's actually called. I don't think it's called sleep. That's the thing, it's called something else in the game. What's it called? Here, status ailments. Makes you immobile. Slap to awake. Yeah, it's called groggy. It's not sleep status. It's called grogginess in this game. And she just made me groggy. So I need some anti-groggy stuff. Now. That's so crazy. Grogginess. It's really ridiculous. Sorted by color, type, defense, name. Uh, let's go by able to fabricate. Grogginess, 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 grogginess. Massive boost to resistance to being groggy. But I don't have, I cannot fabricate it. Groggy, 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 groggy. B 
boogieing, paralytic. Here we go. Large boost. This is it. Large boost in resistance of being groggy. Make it, baby. And put it on. I, 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 I like a nice blazer. That looks cool. I guess. Uh, equip it as a style and utility. You're... You're now equipped with that. Okay, that's fine. Good, thank you. Alright, rematch. Can we do it now? Now that I got the little, uh, the female jacket? <laughs> Where are we? What is this? Back to back Grandmaster's Gold. Yeah, let's fight, dude. I'm not gonna lose. What's this Jara do? No, I don't need this. Why is this auto... Get, get out of here. Give me this. Give me this. Recovery 50%. Versus what? Wait. HP drain? Defense? Rare drop rate boost? HP drain. No, I'll take that. That's fine. I'll do an H a little HP drain as I'm attacking. Alright, we're ready. Our outlook is fair. Let's beat this. Let's Rematch time, man. Rematch time. What do you guys think? Are we gonna do it? It's so hard. Grogginess, though. At least we learned something new, right? And we got a better genie reroll, so we're good here. Ah. Sweet. I love those dungeons, man. Let's go. Snack world cart. Chop! What in the world? Hey, Abdallah, great timing. Uh, here, have this. Maybe you can use it, huh? Thanks, dude. Oh, sweet! I need those. I don't know if that's a really rare one, but I need them. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Chuppy McChupperson. Not okay. <laughs> no, it's not okay. That's a big boy right there. Okay. Oh my gosh. I hate the slip slide. It's called sloshy. Cool. Oh, dude, melon, mass melon, get out of here. Hey, the key! That was pretty lucky. One of my random snacks just attacked the dude that had the key and got the KO. Wow, if you're not paying attention, man. Not okay. <laughs> Stop it. Not okay. Not okay. Who's saying that? Don't tell me that's Honey Bun saying that. I'm going to be really upset if that is. All right, here we go. Rematch time. I got a boost in experience that I could use whenever she's about to die. I'll just down that potion and then get a boost. Is that okay? All right, here we go. Rematch. You are not going to make me groggy, and I'm not going to waste any time reviving anyone. I can't afford to. Yeah, fall back attack, but I still ate the 100 damage. There's no invincibility frames in fall back attack. There's something called perfect shielding, too, I found out. When I was fighting Medusa off screen, if you shield at just the right time as something hits you, you'll get zero damage from it. 
Okay, frozen, that's fine. We can mash out of frozen. Or sorry, petrification. <gasps> okay, good. I like his I like his pose though. The genie's pose while he's petrified is hilarious. There you go. You saw that, right? Man, dude, get on my Snack World level over here. You see that two perfect shields? Holy cow! I could not block that. Get me up! Get me up! What are you doing? Get me up. Thank you. Lasers! There's no way I got perfect shield. Three power balls. <laughs> I said, get me up. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I need their help, right? I don't even think about it. I'm just gonna sneak right up to you. No! I thought I had immunity to it! I'm dead. No thanks. Ouch! Oh my gosh! Punch her! What are you doing? Such a liability! Dead! I'm so dead! Come and get me, boy! Come and get me! Oh, how much health do you have? And you fell asleep. Please stay alive. Oh, come on, wake up! Help me! <laughs> Come on, me! Get over here, big boy. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Now forget that, dude. I'm under leveled. I I won't try again. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard when you got dummy AI that don't really help you out. <laughs> Oh, man, that's actually really... I'll, I'll come back to it. Guys, I'll come back to it. We're in hour 14 right now. Let's actually go back to the main quests. I think that's fine. Stop it! <laughs> Yo, the super difficulties on these bosses are no joke. Challenge training. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so we're gonna auto-equip... Okisume! Hello, welcome. Or should I say welcome back? Welcome back. Welcome back. Everyone welcome. Okisume. I hope I pronounced your name right. This is Groginus Recovery. Oh, that would have helped. That would have helped Groginus Recovery. If you're sleeping, you just tap the R button and use it. Ugh. Alright, that's fine. We're good. Let's go. Let's fight. Glad you're enjoying Snack World, by the way. Okusume, I, I hope you're actually playing the game. The game is out right now for all of you guys to pre-purchase. So go for it. Okay, so we got triple dragons here. And this is not the weapon for a dragon. No, oh, this guy does not like this one.
Paula Blue. So it is, it is Honey Bun that's saying, is that okay? Oh my gosh, someone's just spamming ice on the side. The only thing I have that's super effective is this one against... Holy cow! Get her up. There we go. Boosted experience. You saw what I did there, right? I don't... Oh, okay, I've got something against this one. Holy cow, I ate that. Broke it. Oh, hey, come on, man. There was no warning for that. Get my guy up. Never know when I'm going to need him. Go ahead, hit me. Boom! That's right. I got the experience boost of that. Not okay. Yes, it's okay. Stop asking me. Or else I'm going to put you on the bench. Boost experience gains, heck yeah. Okay, so that was the three dragons. Oh. Ah, yes. Is that okay? Okay, training is over. Uh, it's your lives that are over now. Wait, we're not done here? Wait, who said that? Slashimi? Ooh, this axe is super against him. Holy moly, he punched me once and I died. Get me up. I didn't do the last punch. I don't know if I got the experience for it, but like I just got rocked. Dude punched me once and I was gone. One one punch man. <laughs> Yo, one punch one punch man, get me up. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, man. That was really rough. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. I don't know about that. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Clan Crystal Shield. Can we get it? I don't know. I don't know, man. I need some luck. Five chests. I think we can get it. It would be nice if I got it. Didn't get it. But I got this, though. It's a pH tonic. Pretty cool. Hazelhorn. Hazelhorn. Hazel. <laughs> I'm thinking like Zazzle here. Remember that one boss that's exactly a replica of Zazzle? Impossible. I cannot fail. Just stay out of our way, okay? Ha, huh, I'm exhausted. Can I get a massage, old man? 
P Princess Melonia. Princess Melonia, what are you doing here? <laughs> Haven't you seen the commercials? Slim in style at Shaolin Temple. Ah! What the? I can't believe it. Princess Melonia in the flesh. This has to be the best day of my life. You're a Melonia fan too? You're that happy just seeing her? <laughs> Am I ever? I've been collecting Melonia cards for years. No one else in Metropolis can touch my collection. Yo, I just sold my cards to a robot. Oh wow, that's like, that's like super rare, that card. What, that one? Ha, huh, I've got more than one of them. Wanna trade for it? Whoa, really, you bet I wanna trade, huh? Okay, how about this for it? <laughs> well, that's fun, they're bonding over Melonia cards. The big guy and the assassin sure look like they're having fun, huh? Well, it's all gibberish to me. Hey, Slashimi, what's your favorite thing about the princess? Her eyes, definitely. For me, it's her thighs. What about you, Abdallah? Oh my gosh, you like her thighs? <laughs> Just tell them what they want to hear. Uh, her eyes or her thighs? Well, I gotta like squint over here. Uh, thighs, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> huh, figures. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, what is it this time? Uh, I've never been able to share my passion for Melonia before. I just can't believe I finally met some other people who get it. Yeah, we're fellow Meloniacs. Great to have you on board, Slashimi. Yeah. Thanks, man. Wanna take a snack shot of me? Heck yeah. Oh, we both did? Okay. I mean, the more the merrier, I guess. <laughs> Say, we should get together for a Melonia meet sometime, huh? It's kind of hard not to throw up, but still. Yeah. I guess we should be thankful we met a strong new ally. <laughs> Wait, wasn't he the one that was, like, messing around with, um... Vinegar in the Vinegar's room where he was gonna, like, dispose of... things? Was that not the same guy from the back? Very well. Anyway, that's the end of the chapter, so not too bad. Uh, you have now reached the end of your journey here at Shaolin. Congratulations, you have completed the training shows great strength of mind. I actually do feel stronger now. Mm, the training worked. Yes, I believe we're strong enough now. Falgon will allow us to become Dragon Knights at last. And we use the Dragon Heart to summon him, right? So let's do it right now. Are you ready, Abdallah? Uh, I was born ready. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So. Then we place the dragon heart here, like so. And now you must each offer a prayer. Yes. Yes. It's very enthusiastic about offering a prayer. I am the Millennial Falcon, keeper of the sacred power of dragons. Chapter 9. Make the grade, the Dragon Knight Journey. Wow, so that's who that is. Did that thing have a name in the Japanese version? What was it? <laughs> the Millennial Falcon. So you're the ones who have summoned my power this time. What do your hearts desire? Yeah. To be Dragon Knights, oh mighty Millennial. Uh -huh. And with that power, you wish to exact revenge on Vinegar? Uh -huh. Yes. However... Looks like Frieza. Tell me, have you seen a single dragon knight at Shaolin Temple? Huh? huh? Hey, you know what? I haven't. Not one. Why do you think that might be? Uh, it's tough to become one? I don't know. Because they all died? Maybe they're outlawed? Of course, the training is grueling indeed, but that's not the reason. You see, Vinegar himself was a student of Shaolin, a dragon knight no less. In fact, he made a pact with the dark side and became the strongest of all dragon knights. A dark dragon knight. The temple felt it had a debt of responsibility for this turn of events. We dispatched many dragon knights to deal with Vinegar, but none of them ever returned. Indeed. Vinegar is able to infiltrate the heads and hearts of his adversaries. He lures them to the dark side. All this Chowlin dragon knights were turned into dragons, uh, slaves of the Sultan. Hmm. 
So now you know the truth. Do you still dare to venture along the path of the Dragon Knight? Actually, maybe I'll pass. <laughs> no, come yes. in. Oh, yeah. That's the spirit of Dala. Good for you. No one's getting into your head, right? Gosh. Remember, if you get beaten, you'll be turned into another of Vinegar's dragon slaves. I'm a win. Who cares? Sweet. We're not going to be beaten. Uh -huh. Exactly. We'll defeat Vinegar no matter what. what. Are you really going to do this? Oh, yeah. Say, Falcon, how about like death moves and stuff? What have you got? Come on, Chup, what do you think this is, an RPG? Indeed. Indeed, I do have an ace up my sleeve. Are you you do? Ah, the power to combat the lure of the dark side, so-called virtue. Purity of heart. I get you. I get you! I get you! Like, I get you. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Virtue is a power that cannot be bestowed even by one of the Dragon Creed. I can guide you along the path to Dragon Knighthood, but that is all. If you truly wish to become Dragon Knights, there are three trials you must complete. We truly want to, we have to. And then I will take you to the first trial location using my Felgen Warp. Get ready. Go, go, Felgen Warp! <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that dance? Oh, gee, they should call him the Malamial Falcon. Yo, dude, that dance is awesome. Huh? Wait, this is Tutti Frutti. Indeed. This is where you will undertake the three trials that will lead you into Dragon Knighthood. The trials will take the form of quests set by citizens of Tutti Frutti who have certain special powers. Clear those quests and you complete the trials. Finally, this crazy dragon has decided to clear the smoke. Alright, want a race to see who can clear all the trials first? Uh, yeah, you're on. Uh, 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 uh. Neither of you will beat me. So let us get underway. Let's get this over with! with. Alright, so, looking good? Uh, I think that's going to end off the, the episode. Hey, cool, right? Alright, so next up, we gotta do the, the trials of the dragon. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see what's up with that, but I'm gonna go sell my cards because I really want that dragon blade Oh, what is this guy? He's got some sort of quest. I'll accept it later. We'll accept it later on the next episode Okay, okay, let's take a look. I'm gonna go sell my cards. Uh, we got a couple of them, didn't we? Oh, just one. That's lame. It's only 50 points. I need like another 500 points And there's nothing to buy. All right, so I don't think we need anything right now I think we're just like ready to end off the episode and then start up a new live stream. I think I'm gonna go grab a snack or two. So there's one there, there's one there, and then there's probably one in the main castle. Yeah, so it looks like, yeah, it looks like that. So there's one inside the, uh, the store, right? This is the actual store, what is this? Let's get a quick sneak peek, what are we doing? Oh, so this is the inn. Okay, so Jennifer Yamamoto has a quest. We have, um, Geppetto, or whatever his name is. <laughs> the robot maker has a quest. And... Yeah, I think we're ready. Alright, anyway. I'm just kind of doing a quick run-through to see if there's any other green icons. And one of the things we haven't done is this. We haven't really talked to these guys. I'm gonna cut in line and talk to her. Cutie cutie! Cutie cutie! I have the cutie cutie cards, though. Like, can I use them? You remembered my birthday? I'll totally check. Okay, you're the. Okay. Uh, Alright, fine, whatever. Alright, I guess we're good. I'm gonna go stand behind this little cardboard cutout. I can't stand behind the cardboard cutout. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I need to do anything else before we get ready for the next quest, so. Alright, anyway, what did you guys think of the episode? Pretty cool, yeah? Anything exciting? What was your favorite part? Let's talk about it. I did actually pick up a coupon, though. Let me actually do this. I get that dark wand, maybe. Look at that. So I didn't draw on it, remember. I didn't draw on it at all. And it's already at 77. Remember, we got it down to 79, so two people have drawn, and the prize is actually still here. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm just gonna play the odds. All right. Oh, was that fun? Mm, yeah, super fun. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for the next one. Like, I wanna beat this game. It's gonna be really fun. All right, anyway, so if you guys are not familiar, we are doing a Snack World Marathon. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for being a part of it. You guys are awesome. 
Uh, so go to my main channel page right over here. You guys can see exactly what we're doing. So we did the uh, the entirety of the game so far. Where did we do? Yeah, episode one, two, three, four. They're all here. And here's the playlist. You guys can watch the entire thing. So let's go over to episode number nine. We'll open that in a new tab. And then in episode number nine, I'll give you guys the link in the chat right now so you guys can come on over there and hang out with us. Oh, dang, how did you get there first? <laughs> you guys are already like doing it. They're unlisted live streams, so you can actually go into them uh, beforehand. So yeah, I'm ready. Uh, we're gonna get this one going in a little bit, so make sure that you guys all come on over and say hello. You guys can wait for me right over here. I'm gonna go grab a quick snack and we'll get started in about 15, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, how about the top of the hour? We'll do it at the top of the hour and it'll be chapter nine. We'll see what's going on. Do the dragon trials, then chapter 10 supposedly is the last one, I don't know. But the rest is uh, the rest is going to be a little blind from here on out. All right, so that's it. Thanks for being here, you guys are amazing. If you guys didn't already enter our giveaway, make sure you guys do so. Comment on the video what your favorite part of the chapter was. And then we'll absolutely choose one random comment amongst the videos a little bit later on to receive a digital code. So that being said, thanks for being here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and of course, subscribe for even more Snack World, the Dungeon Crawl Gold. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.